There's really kind of a renaissance going on right now in developing country design and in tinkering in general. And people doing things themselves in a distributed fashion. Uh, the exchange of information in groups like Make and Instructables and groups like uh, the groups that Jock was talking about who are just tinkering with different existing designs like his full belly project shower and then posting those results for other people to tinker with and for other people to change has created this real flowering of innovation and development. And one thing that I think is going to be really exciting is when that flowering starts to get into developing country situations and people there are able to access the information better and exchange their uh, innovations with people in the US. Because right now, a lot of large companies are not thinking about design for the bottom of the pyramid. They aren't thinking about, OK, how can I make a windmill at one watt? Because there's no market for it. We work in hydro. We do a small scale ballast load controller. Uh, it does essentially what a $4,500 Siemens controller does, but it does it for 400 bucks. Siemens could produce a much better controller than we do, but they don't because they don't see the existing market in developing countries. So one of the really exciting things is seeing when all of these people, both in the US and abroad, start working on these problems, and then those solutions actually go and fuel people in developing countries to start their own enterprises, to start their own industries, and to really try and solve the problems that they're facing themselves. So I think that's going to do two things. It's going to help engage people in science, because it's fun to tinker, and it's fun to use like small sets of tools and limited resources to try and solve a problem. But it's also going to help create new enterprises and new industries in areas where people are not able to create industries currently because they don't have the distributed R&D network of 10,000 people that a major corporation does. But through all these tinkers and through all these people interested in developing in the US and Europe and sharing that information, uh, they do. And it's, it's really a great change that's coming forward.